Hello and welcome to a special episode of Motors for the Masses. And in this episode, we attempt to answer a very important question. And that question is, just how waterproof is motorcycle gear? Now, for this experiment, we need a Jamie. And Jamie is going to be our dummy. Are you prepared for this? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Excited? Excited to get wet. <laughs> yes, he's going to get wet. So what we'll do is we'll get geared up and we've got some nice cameras to do some nice close-up slow-mo action shots. So it's money well spent, I say. Yeah, his money. Okay, <laughs> let's roll the intro and get cracking. So what is it we're going to be testing? Well, initially, I just want to say I'm sorry if there's a bit of wind noise. I have put my fluff on, but it is a windy afternoon. But it is nice and sunny, so Jamie should dry out quite quickly. Anyway, what are we going to be testing first? Well, first is going to be the Tuzo gear, T-U-Z-O. Now, we have the Tuzo jacket. This retails at $49.99, comes with the shoulder armour, the elbow armour, but not the back armour. But it does have the waterproof zips, and it is, as it says on the label here, waterproof. Doesn't have the inner liner, but we'll see how that goes. Now the trousers to match them are $44.99, like so, also waterproof, as it says on the label there but we'll find out soon enough. Comes with the inner liner on these trousers and it does have the knee pads and the hip pads, albeit quite thin, but it does have hip protection. Like I say, $44.99. Now, we are gonna pitch that against the Oxford gear. Now, this is the Oxford equivalent jacket, also waterproof, as stated on the label there, with the fold over waterproof zips on those ones. This one also comes with the shoulder armour, the elbow armour, but not the back plate, but it does have the inner liner as well. So perhaps if he gets wet, he might be a bit warmer. Who knows? But this retails at $99.99 and the trousers to match these are $119.99. Now this does come with the braces, if you like that kind of stuff, but you also get the inner liner on the trousers like you do on the Tuzo stuff, the knee pads, but not the hip pads, although you can get these separate if you wanted to. Like I say, $119.99 for those. And then finally, we're gonna go with the all-in-one romper suit. Now this is made by Viper, like so all-in-one baby suit. Um, this retails at $54.99 and this is waterproof also. But time will tell. So what do we do now? Let's get Jamie ready. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Right, so here we go. First of all, the Tuzo gear. Jamie's going to get on the bike. We've got some nice slow-mo close-up action going on here. In the face! <laughs> right. Jet wash. Please mount the bike. So first of all, we're gonna go with a, a light sprinkling. Just in case it's raining a little bit. Not much there, look. A little bit of rain, how you doing? Is it good? All right, a little bit of dusting there. How are you faring so far? Right, okay. And then, of course, it could get a little bit more vicious. Okay, you ready?
<laughs> Coming off the top of the bike here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> and then, of course, it could get a lot worse with a, a driving torrential downpour. Sort of. Sort of like that. And, How's that? Yeah, okay, let's find out, shall we? So now, as a, um, a final experiment, we'll just see how wet we can get it and see what the effect is. how much fun this is going to be. <laughs> so, how do you feel? Let's de-robe de and see how wet you are. Absolutely bone dry. I am astounded by that. That is amazing. Feet didn't do so well. <laughs> dry. And again, bone dry. Wow. That is impressive. So now it's on to the Oxford gear. Now to start with, how does that feel comfortability-wise in comparison to the Tuzo gear? I think the other stuff was more comfortable, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Okay, well that's interesting. So Oxford gear, light dusting. How's that? Oh, so good. Okay, so it's getting a bit heavier now. Bouncing up here. How are we doing? Good. All right, now you get off the bike and let's see how we fare on this one. Right, time to derobe. Remember, this is the Oxford gear. Good test, this. Twice the price of the Tuzo gear. Is it twice as dry? Well, you were bone dry in the other one, so also bone dry. That's a good start. And also bone dry. So that's a plus for the Oxford as well. Fantastic. So now it's on to the final experiment. And so far, Jamie's actually come out pretty dry. So that's quite impressive. But will this Viper romper suit do the job as well? Let's find out. Okay, so we're gonna go with a light dusting. Light dusting there. Uh, 
Very good, yeah, slight dusting. How are you faring? Lovely and cool. Lovely and cool? <laughs> but are you dry? Okay. Right, okay. Torrential downpour. How are you doing? Okay, please exit the bike. <laughs> okay, the standing drenching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not, not as much padding on this one as the other two. <laughs> okay. Please disrobe. I don't know if I've got a slight leak. Really? We shall soon find out. Top well, the top half is dry. You've got a slight little bit there. Dampy, bit damp down a leg there. Okay. Mm. So there's a little bit of dampness, although he may have peed himself when I smacked him in the, um, what's the name of the <laughs> jet? <laughs> Other than that, not bad. So that concludes our experiment. And all we need to do now is find out from Jamie just how each one fared. First of all, let's start with the Tuzo. I mean, the Tuzo stuff, for how cheap it is, I can't fault it, it was completely dry, completely dry. And the Oxford stuff? The Oxford stuff again, uh, double the price, but again, it, it done what it said on the, on the label, it was waterproof, but again, bone dry. Now, the waterproof over romper suit? Well, you'd think that the dedicated waterproof over suit would be the best at obviously keeping the water out, but as you could see from the video, it's the only one that leaked. So really it comes down to style and comfortability. Now, if it was your money, which one would you go for? <laughs> the Tuzo stuff, to be honest. Now that doesn't, of course, mean that the Oxford one is not better if you fall off your bike, because we don't know, and we're not gonna do that experiment. Aren't you up for that? No. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So fair enough, we're not gonna experiment that one. But the Oxford one may fare better on the abrasion front, but on the waterproof front, both as good as each other. So if you're worried about waterproofing, Tuzo is just as good. If you're worried about abrasiveness, fall off on each and let us know. No, don't do that. Are you sure? I'm sure. All right, okay. So that brings us to the end of this episode of Motors for the Masses. We hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Did you enjoy it? That was fun. Apart from the last one. It was cool <laughs> for a hot day. Yeah. <laughs> And until next time, please ride and drive carefully. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video and do other stuff. We'll be back soon with more reviews and more bikes and cars and everything else. And until next time, please ride and drive carefully. Take care. But have fun. Oh, sorry. You've, you've have lots of fun, like I have. You've watched this video before, yes? You've no. watched lots of our videos before? No. Yes, you have. No. Biggest fan, you said. Wrong. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.